Good morning. In this video, today we are going to learn the topic www. Everyone knows about this www. What is this www? All are simply using www.gmail.com, www.google.com, www.yahoo.com, www.amazon.com, etc. Everywhere, everyone we are using. Surely, it is a world wide web. In this video, I want to give a clear idea about www. What are the web pages? How www works? How the browser fetch and display the features? Now, what is World Wide Web? It is having a huge collection of pages which are linked to each other around one globe. So one page is connected to another page. Another page is connected to another page. Okay. Every page is a combination of text, picture, audio, video, animation and hypertext. So whatever the web page that you are going to access, these pages consisting of so many combinations. Berners-Lee, he is the father of World Wide Web. All computers use a communication standard called HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. A web page can be designed with HTML or XML, JavaScript, etc. So how you are going to create a web pages? Just simply using Notepad. This HTML is used to design the structure which means how the page has to appear. That is appearance which means where the image has to be located, where the text box has to be present, everything like that. So HTML is used to design the structure. How does the www work? The pages we have created using HTML is called as web pages. The web pages we created has to be linked to everyone. So whenever I click to one page that has to be navigate to their respective URL. That completely becomes the website. We are accessing the website using www. For example, whenever you are clicking to www.gmail.com, it is asking username and password, which navigates to next page to your inbox if your username and password is correct. It is the inbox page that you are going to enter. Here, the link http colon slash slash www.gmail.com is the URL. It is just the address. If you want to go to somewhere, you need to know the address now. Then only you can go to that place. The same way, if you wish to visit a page, you need an URL. You can access to that website. URL. What is URL? URL is a uniform resource locator. It is an address to that website. It is an address to where you have to go. URLs are unique in nature. It should not be duplicated. It should not be repeated. URL is divided into two parts. The first part is protocol and the second part is the resource name. For example, if you consider in http colon slash slash www.gmail.com http is a protocol and www.gmail.com is the resource name http what is http hyper text transfer protocol it is the basic service provided by the internet to enter into the server then you can run web app into the browser through url this browser, you can, for, for example, you can use any browsers like Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, etc. Whatever the reason browsers you can use. How does the browser fetch the pages? WWW works on client server approach. First, 
the user enters the URL. For example, say http colon slash slash www.gmail.com of the web page in the address bar of the web browser. Then the browser requests the domain name service DNS for the IP address corresponding to www.gmail.com. After receiving the IP address, browser sends the request for web page to the web server using HTTP protocol, which specifies the way the browser and the web server communicates. How does the browser display the pages? Now, the web server receives the request using HTTP protocol and checks its search for the requested web page. If found, it returns it back to the web browser and closes the HTTP connection. Now, the web browser receives the web page. It interrupts and displays the content of the web pages in web browser's window. In short, the server store and transfer web pages or information to users' computers on the network when requested by the users. A web server is a software program which serves the web pages requested by the web users using a browser. The computer of a user who requests document from the server is known as client Browser which is installed on the user's computers allow users to view the retrieved documents. Okay, who makes the web standards? Web standard is defined as a formal set of standards and technical specifications used to define aspects of the world wide web. Complying with web standards can give you web pages greater visibility in web searches. W3C facilitates this listening and blending via international web standards. They are using HTML or XML, CSS, DOM, etc. Since its inception, the web has changed a lot and it's still changing today. Search engines have become more advanced at reading, understanding and processing information. They can easily find the information requested by users and can even provide other relevant information that might internet users. How to retrieve a web page? As I said already, the web server receives request using the HTTP protocol and checks its search for the requested web page. If found, it returns it back to the web browser and close the HTTP connection. Now the web browser receives the web page, it interrupts it and displays the content of the web page in the web browser's window. It is also called as client server technology or master slave technology. Okay, now I'd like to know whether the web and the internet are the same thing. They are often used as if they are the same thing. They are not. And understanding the differences can help you make things a lot clearer. The internet is a way to allow different computers around the world to talk to one another. Whether it is downloading a PDF from a website or chatting to your friend over Skype, it is the internet that connects the computers together. When you connect your computer to the internet, it joins this network and you can send or receive information from any other computer. But the World Wide Web is the system of web pages and sites that uses the internet to pass the files across. In simple terms, just remember that the internet is the computer network. The web is a service that uses it. If you have any queries regarding this, kindly post it. Thank you. Thank you for watching.